Still, all right, Street Sharks, you have the first ban. What map are you banning? Aw, uh, paint. Paint factory for you, Femfidels. We are banning Watermill. Watermill, all right, Street Sharks, <gasps> will be the first map played. Prison. Prison will be our opener, okay, okay. And for you, Fem? Uh, gold mine. Gold huh? mine. Gold mine, all right, all right. Street Sharks, you have the next ban. Aw. Uh... <laughs> Um, it's hmm. between uh, 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 Canal, Haunted, and what's the other one? Slay. Slay. Canal, Slay. Haunted, and Slay. What? Wait. Um, okay. Slay. Alright, next band will be Slay. And for UFEM, between Canal and Haunted. Which one will you ban? No worries, no worries. That's crazy. Real. Real and true. Uh, we will ban from our Ban Haunted, so Canal will be our map three today. All right, let us know your party yeah, leaders, man. and we'll get started. Me. Wait, right. oh, I'm not in a party. Uh-oh. Uh... Um, what the... Oh, whip? shit. We'll, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Just uh, let me know. Just DM me. I'm, like... I'll join the pod being a sick. Just, yeah, just I'm send me in. Just, yeah, okay. All right, it's Aqua All right, good luck, guys. All right, well, Aqua is one. Alright, I got them in. Rotom wasn't in a party, so. Um, oh, oops. Huh? I say I saved my comment during map selection where they said Street Sharks A League roster plus mud. I really just wanted to say so an A League roster. <laughs> <laughs> real. That's real and true. Jojo crashed. Oh, well, it's don't. It's fine. We still got time to get the Street Sharks in here, so. Yeah. Crashing it before time. the game even starts? That's insane. We're off to it. We're gonna be off to an excellent start today, Chad. I already feel it. It is all good though. We got time. We got time. Alright. Yeah, I got time. Certified Psychans moment. I think Psychans is our is AG's guy who crashes. I forget. Yeah he is. That's what I thought. Uh my brain isn't working. Jojo is my goat. Alright. Um, I need to lock in, bro. I'm way too quiet right now. How's Sentinel's doing? Fuck, they're losing! Okay. <laughs> I'm happy because my. Because uh, Team Liquid won their playoff series yesterday for League of Legends. Yep. I'm gassed. If they win their next playoff game, they make it to MSI. Interesting. And and finals, so they need to lock in. They've beaten both of these teams in the upper bracket finals, so they just need to win against them in the lower bracket. Interesting. And then they're in final finals. All right, so we're still waiting for JoJo. For JoJo to get back online. Waiting for the, the greatest lackey VIP of all time. She's a lucky if she has VIP and lucky shit. Yeah. Interesting. It's a it's a running joke that I keep getting called the lackey mod by people, so she calls me the lackey mod and I call uh, her the lackey VIP. I see, I see. Luckily I don't get called the lackey mod that much anymore. It's very, very awesome. Love love my boy, but you know. Yeah, you're a lucky mod. I, I yeah, I'm I've sentenced I'm gonna just mod you in my chat and call you the Chan Diggity Dog. Chan mod. The Chan Diggity mod. I think I am when I am VIP in your chat. I mean, yeah, you're VIP, but like it'd be funnier if you were just known as the mod. That is true. I can hear Rotom. I can see the steam coming out of Rotom's ears while we're waiting for Fem to get ready. <laughs> it's okay. We don't <laughs> got an. Uh, you know, if uh, I'd be a little more stressed out if we had back to back. Okay, she's online now. Um. I'd be a little more stressed if we had back-to-back, -back, but 
We got a while, so I'm not too worried. I am not too worried, chat. The season is coming to an end very shortly, chat. Um, you know, I think at the end of day today, we'll really determine who makes playoffs and who doesn't in the B League. I think we're just waiting on Darkness and Hang Plus 10. Um, if I look Darkness hasn't, team, game in, hasn't had a game in how long? I don't know, but they're they like, have three today. They literally just need one win. Darkness has been four and three for like three weeks. Yeah. I'm pulling a Golden Goldens over here. For real. Not scheduling games. No, but yeah, they, genuinely, they just need one win out of their next four games and then make playoffs. Yeah, so because Hank have, Plus 10 being 4-7. and seven. <laughs> They have three games today versus the Sirens, Mousetrap, and Street Sharks B. Um, Street Sharks B will be the first one uh, at two Eastern chats. So as soon as this game... Oh, oh JoJo nicknamed. Okay. JoJo's next. Youthful L Cheese Joe. 66. Youthful Cheese 66 making their IBL day blue. All right, chat. We're getting into prison by now. Right now, by the way, um, I totally didn't zone out there for a second. Uh, anyways, here we go. Um, Useful Cheese 66 is Jojo, by the way. Round one, a map one, a prison. Starting now, Street Jack versus the Femme Fatales. Femme Fatales going for a kind of a passive start here, not really pushing up over stairs. Yeah. We got a little bit of here. a Rotom lurking down below in the Bubble Vader. But Fem's played so far back, that doesn't really do anything. He whiffs the Harming Orb. Looking to push up here a little bit over here on the left side. Uh, Rotom trying to push up over here. Yeah. Aquatra's still chilling back here in spawn. And Aquatra is going to cut Aquatra off guard. Aquatra walks back. We got Mud Man Sun, by the way, playing today. Down below. Apple gets a slain. Got it's him in a cobweb. Aqua tried a 1v1 with Mud. Mud man seems to take the take. Oh, out. and as soon as Apple oh, got bro. the kill there, the Fem Fatales get the fill. They take the 1-0 lead. I didn't even see what's going on there. It was uh, an interesting fight with um, Mud and Aquatra. Aquatra with the wooden sword, Mud with the stone sword. Aquatra almost winning, getting Mud to half a heart. Really? I, he took a hit from I wasn't else. watching that. I was watching Apple. Apple got two players in cobwebs and was able to get two kills there. So, amazing use of the cobwebs for uh, Apple. And a good fill by, I guess it was... Um, yeah, a great time fill. Marie, who's uh, live and well there. Marie or JoJo? Yeah, it was Marie. All right, yeah. I wasn't. I was watching the. I was watching the Apple fights there. We all had our own POVs. Real. But a good round there for the Fem Fatales. They are a very strong prison team. As someone who's fought them on prison, maybe in both of our games, I'm not sure. At least is in prison one. like the most common map one. I swear this is map one so many times. I'm not too sure on that. All right, well, we're getting right into round two right now. Um, we saw Fem play so passive. Street Sharks was trying to take aggression, but it didn't really do much because Fem was playing so far back. Let's see what they do here. Street Sharks Rotom really favoring down. the Harming Street Orb Shark side. We got Rodom down below, really going up again. A flank going but... on over here for Marie, looking for something. Marie could get Oslain off guard. Oslain does doesn't not even see her. See. We got a fight going on over here. Rodom is chasing, doesn't see where they went. Mud going in for a fight over here. Oh, wait, no, never mind. He's oh, and we got a 2v1 here. Getting caught in the cobwebs. Apple Muddy. was shot by Oslain. Apple shot, and Mud is shot, though, so it's a trade on the one for one. Trade three on three. Now we got an Invis Tormood going in, getting Aquatra. Another fight going on down below. Rodon cleans, and now it's Jojo slices now in a 1v3. 1v3. Jojo lock in. Oh. Gets one. Gets one. But Oslain has other complete. plans as Oslain finishes off with two there. And Street Sharks tie it up one to one. Jojo a little laggy there, yeah. Jojo a little laggy. That's there. Jo that's just Jojo. Jojo's just ping Jojo, is just all though. over the place. It's so annoying to play against, I swear. One twenty eight one twenty eight is like just like enough where it's not terrible, but it's like enough to be a, a little an advantage, but it's not like awful. I think Jojo's Australian, so that doesn't help. I'm like 99% sure. I forget. I, I haven't heard JoJo's voice. She just she seems Australian. 120 ping doesn't sound like Aussie ping. I don't know. Maybe it is. <laughs> You're asking. <laughs> I I think <laughs> she's I think she's EU. British. Yeah, I knew it. L. <laughs> all right well chat it's one to one um it is one to one now let's see who grabs the two one lead let's go tree sharks again favoring the side here 
Mumbin Sun going in, but Mumbin Sun's now just going to chase Marie, and Marie drops. It was another 2 1 1 split by Fem. Uh, Slain standing back here trying to go for bows, just get tagged at down to six hearts. And uh, Tracers are going for mid right now. Five blocks down, a levy going down. We got TNT cannon. But a TNT cannon's going down. That might hit Rotom. Rotom sees it, falls back. And while that's going on, Jojo and Apple both got a kill. And now Jojo gets a second. It's Oslane in a 1v3 now. Oslane running back. Try getting a block down mid there. Unsuccessful. Will they get the kill? Oh, Oslane might be able to get one here. Doesn't Apple finishes. God, Apple finishes. Two for Apple, two for Jojo. And then Vitals are up two to one. There was definitely some miscommunication there. I feel like one of the one of the straight sharks wanted to go for a fill there, but the others kind of wanted to fight. Or maybe they were in fights and couldn't really rotate. There was definitely some sort of miscommunication on what the plan was there. Because if one of you guys wants if one of the one of you wants to go for the fill, but the other wants to fight, you have to kind of make that clear. Yeah. And now it's like I feel like you kind of have to. I feel like you like it's him. almost impossible for you to get a fill in a 1v3. Yeah. Unless you absolutely catch them sleeping. You have to get a you have to find like a crazy angle to get like those fill rushes like uh what we saw. He tr like they tried going for the fill. You have to get a crazy angle to go for just a solo fill like that to where you just have it completely free. So it always is best to or like it always is best to have at least one person with you so you can even if it's just filling blocks twice as fast if you get jumped on you have two people there to place blocks twice as fast because if one person can get six blocks down a second person can easily get three all right here we go chat round four now let's see will the femme put it away here or will street sharks tie it up another aggressive push on this orb by street sharks uh marie getting tagged Rodom gets one! Completely. Now Mudman's just going in. Mudman goes down. Tormood's gonna be able Jojo to clean here. Lives. Tor is just running it down. Jojo in spawn. Jojo Hiding. is so low. We got an invis Tor going in, gets his second. And now it's Apple in a 1v3. They know where Apple is now. Rotom's gonna drop. Caught in the cobweb. Apple tries, but oh, Tormood so comes and gets his third. It is 2-2 two, two now. I we're going to round five on map one, a back and forth game chat. Street Sharks are looking like they want to fight. This playoff, this playoff run is going to be difficult for both of these teams. If Street Sharks win, this will blow it open. Let us see. Let us see. This will be a huge round five. Maybe we get a 15 rounder. Maybe. And again, both teams really fighting for playoff seeding. Femme Fatales, you know, it's more than likely they make it. They're 6-5 uh, and five right now. Unless they go on a losing streak, they more than likely make it. I, I'm just going to say it's very looking like in their favor. There's a chance that they are also fighting for the second seed over the Arctic Guards. So a win today would also help them reach that goal. And obviously, Street Sharks right now in the... Four seed, uh, five and seven, fighting against the Tavern, who are five and eight. Now one game ahead of the Tavern, so this is a really big win if they hope to continue keeping that four seed and push maybe even for the three seed, tying that win with them. All right, here we go. Another aggressive push for this orb. I'm not seeing any response for this aggressive push by Fem. And if you're um, Fem, you don't want to fight for that against three Street Sharks players. Yeah, I, I like how they're, they pushed up their strategy here. They sent more people on the other side. Apple getting a nice levy orb over here. TNT cannon on Mudman's on Aquatra by off of Apple's levy orb. That levy is an orb amazing U2 combo. Off Jojo with one. Gets two blocks down. Osling goes down. Now we got TNT cannon and Tormood gets one. Tormood, Invis, try to go in for mid there. Three, though. there gets one, low gets bars. second. There's a lot of low health bars. But Aquatra but finishes. Finish. Oh, wow. Foul, take map one. Tor almost with a 1v4 clutch. That Levy Orb into TNT Cannon was massive. That what was an, an ace if Tor got that insane too. round. Yeah, 1v4 clutch was almost possible there. But the TNT Cannon from Aquatra, just the amazing assist there for... Um, from Apple. I'm gonna give Apple credit there. She just got mud with a levy orb. Got someone else too, but the other person was able to escape. And just right into the TNT cannon of Aquatra. So just amazing util combo. And Fem get the map. Three to two. Mud for J Sharps as well. And this was Street Sharks map pick.
Yeah, I mean, they they certainly made it competitive. Uh, Fem did adapt to that orb. I, I I don't know why I thought they didn't, but they did. They in the the previous uh rounds they were trying to go for trying to contest the orb, whatever. Said a two one one split. They went for like a zero one three to zero zero four, like all going on that levy spark side. Just take you can have the orb. We're not gonna fight. We're not gonna use our health bars. And they end that ended up being perfect. I think one of the one of the Fems dropped down, uh, getting you know getting that levy orb into that TNT cannon. So that adapting was huge All right. for them maintaining their health bars. Stats for the first map, um, Tormood 7 and 3, an absolute monster map for Tormood. Um, Oslane 2 and 3, Rodon 2 and 4, and Mudman 2 and 4. On the other side, Jojo Slices 5 and 3, Apple 4 and 3, Aquatra 3 and 3, and Emery 2 and 4. Uh, we do have um, J Sharps coming in for Mudman Sun. Um, I think we're ready. If we get a ready check going for map 2. We are good to go to get into a gold mine, which should have let me yap about the. Stats. I'm sorry, SMA I'm sorry, Chan. man. I like to yap. I All know right. you do. Well, here we go, map two, gold mine now starting now again the Femme Fatale's map pick. So we'll see how the Street Sharks play here. Can the Street Sharks take it to map three, or will the Femme Fatales just make it rest? We will see. is looking this is, I'm, I'm i think we get a 15 rounder here though i think that would be so awesome i had a single one all season that would be this good this would be a game to do it trust this would be a game to do it i'll just get no 15 rounders and like all the playoff games you get like 25 rounder after oh my god that'd be insane rounder. i'd, I'd <laughs> rather i'd rather that that's the sacrifice i'm willing to make like that would be so adrenaline pumping all right by round five Map five, round five, everyone's hands are just like vibrating like the freaking flash. Anyway, we get some pre fires off. Jojo does get hit. Um, no one hit on the street. Actually, I think one person was hit on the street charge because I saw the a bubble. Levy spark. J Sharp's. Are we falling down? In hit. One oh, one Slane one gets a kill. I did not see where. And Apple Rodo goes we're... down to finish as well. Torgo's and Tormo's just going in. Apple goes down. Aggression. Marie. J Sharp's trying it's to do some damage, nice but as the healer doesn't, doesn't do want to be the aggressor. Oh, Slane coming in. Flying in. Going after J Sharps does get it, but Marie gets on one killed heart. down below. But now it's Marie in a one v two on one heart. One heart, yeah. I mean, it's winnable, but it's really extremely difficult, especially against solid players like this. Oslin with the crossbow as well. A nice pot there from Marie, but Tormund not gonna happen. Finishes and Tormund with another three. Tormund's up to ten kills in six maps, six rounds, six maps. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and six maps! Wow! Round one to Street Sharks. Man, Tormood. Off to a fire start so far. Well, that's that's his third 3k in a row. Chat. That's Tormood's third 3k in a row. We got three on round four. Almost pulled off a 1v4 clutch on round five. But so got three there, and then just another three K. That's that's nine in the last three rounds. I'd say one of the biggest mistakes there was um, JoJo taking that free fire, losing that health, and then Slain being able to just bing bing and then get that kill. That was very huge. I feel like if you try to avoid those, I mean, obviously you try to avoid those free fires. I feel like a lot of people try to avoid free fires while trying to free fire themselves, and I feel like that's really hard. Sometimes you have to either commit to a pre-fire if you know you're going to make it, or just not pre-firing and not getting hit. That's what I like to do. All right, here we go. And it looks like JoJo takes my advice and hides. Tor uh, grabbing but the levy spark. anyway. Look at Tor. Jojo. Tor's waiting to push. Look at where Tor and Slane are. Maybe they want to levy up. Open. Oh, and Tor. Oh, Slane doesn't but see Apple drop down on him. But Tor down. Getting Rodon cleans Marie. Marie. But Chaos everywhere. Jojo getting Jojo shot on her way out. Rotom looking for finishing the kill, but Jojo dropping down. Oh, no. TNT. Apple! Right in the TNT! Does she get out? Does no. get out? Thor was slain by Jojo, but then eliminated using magic. Okay, interesting. We got, you know, some sorcerer action going on here. It is now 2v3, though. So this is very doable. Street Sharks has the numbers here. They could push up and try and take the fight here, but they're just getting bowed down right everywhere. now. Control low, Oslane and Rotom. Finish there. I assume that was a pot kill by Tor. Yeah, it just. But why pot. did the death message not come up? Yeah, That's... it's a it's a potion. Okay, all right. Me. That's interesting. So Street Sharks grab another win there. 
They're now up 2-0. Dominating oh, goldmine so Sweet. far. We'll see, we'll see, Chad. Rotom didn't break the web, he would have gotten the kill. Yeah, because uh, Apple was like, head was stuck in, in the TNT, TNT there. It was so, over. yeah, the, just the unlucky timing for Apple, but then it just turned into luck there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, or however you, how you want to describe it. I wouldn't say luck, but just like the timing for her to levy up and then, oh, never mind, I'm going to break the web and she was just able to get out. Obviously, didn't really affect how the round went, but yeah. I'd say Fem played a little too safe with trying to avoid their free fires. There is an angle on Goldmine where you can be hidden uh, behind the two v two and still be or the two by two and push up and still not be getting free fired. I'd say hiding in the corners is definitely. Oh, look! They're the pushing idea. Tormood for this one now, but Tormood gets out. Rotom drops Marie. Marie. Jojo able to get the trade. It does get it healed. And Aquatra is getting lit up now. Tormood Slightly wanting to go in. Tormood here. does get the kill. Jojo going to 1v1 Tor now. Tor low. And J Sharps comes J -Sharps in with the clean. Finishes. Apple now in a 1v3. 1v3. Apple gets two. one. Apple getting one. A 1v2. But Oslane behind. Oslane behind. With the crossbow on fully, fully healthy over here. J Sharps knocks down with the crit. Slane finishes. And that's a sweep for Street Sharks. That's a team ace as well. Team A's for Street Sharks for the sweep on map two to force map three canal. No 15 rounder chat, but at least we're going to a map three. See, the biggest thing there is you got to dodge those pre fires and stay healthy. It's and Street Sharks were playing super aggressive. You have to counter that aggression and try to get uh, two v1s. And like they had Slain on the back line, just kind of bowing. You have to have that, you have to have that back line. I don't know, it's, it's very interesting to see. I, I would like to see, like, Fem's POV in that in, in that map to see what they were kind of communicating and talking about and trying to do strategy-wise. And right. how Street Sharks were just completely dominating. Yeah. Um, this big and... guy loves free fires because it's a big thing, Fawn. Four hearts is a lot of damage. All right, Glue, since you want to yap about stats so much, I'm giving you the opportunity to do so now. Yay! Okay, so the stats so far, uh, Tormood is having an amazing game right now, going 12 and 5. Uh, then we've got Oslane, 5 and 3, Rotom, 5 and 6, Mudmanson, 2 and 4, and J Sharps, 1 and 1. Uh, and then on Femme Vitales, uh, Jojo Slices going 7 and 6, X Apple, 6 and 6, Aquatra, 3 and 6, and Marie, 3 and 7. Thank you, Glue Sticks. All You're right. very welcome. No subs for either side as we're getting into Canal. I'm not familiar with how these teams play on Canal. I'll I, be honest. I have no idea. I, I no don't idea. know if it's a common map for either of them. I, you know, sometimes I have some familiarity of at least how much a team plays a map. But right now, I genuinely am not sure. We are both bad at Canal for real, says Fawn from the Street Sharks. All right, chat, we're getting into map three now. Map three gold mine. Let's a back go. and forth map one for the Femme Fatales. Not so back and forth map for map two gold mine for the oh we're still on gold mine. Yeah, we're map three gold mine, guys. Let's run it back. Run it back. Round six. Alright. I forgot to change the map. Oh my god, glue. The one this is what happens when you yap for stats. You gotta lock in, glue. Okay, but I love We're yapping. We're geeking and yeah. lock in, Glue. <laughs> tic tac toe, tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. Oh, dare I, dare I say, Fawn, there were no pre fires this time. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. Oh, they're just going for the fill. Do Femme win round six? <laughs> oh my god! Wait, let Rota Mace? Treasure Slices and Tor 1v1 here. Rotom does not get the ace, but it does not matter. And Jojo, Jojo finishes. With Jojo with the ace. Jojo grabs the ace. <laughs> w Jojo? That's, a, that's an easy clip right there. Easy clip that counts, that counts. Alright.
Uh, how are the people in your montage supposed to know that it was just like completely free and given to you? <laughs> an ace is an ace. All right, chat. Now we get into a map three, a canal. We are on canal now. It is here. We loaded into it. It is the right map. I, I have no idea how either of these teams play canal. So this will be this will be an interesting one. I'm hoping to see maybe maybe some aggression over here. I'd like to see some three one splits, send someone on the other side, other team side, and maybe try and grab that pot. That's yeah. probably my favorite and strategy on Canal. If you're the Street Sharks, I think you definitely play aggressive here. I think you definitely go for some flanks. Yeah, some fights. you want to keep that aggression. But you also got to be careful because I think Fem would pull out some mid pushes here. And look at them both going a four on four split right into each other, but Fem get beat to the bridge. They're Street Sharks landing some shots. Oslane going in on Aquatra here. Oh, Slane, low though. And Aquatra is able to get the kill. the kill. And now look at Fem. They're pushing up. The Street Sharks are scrambling. Street Street Rotom, the, the only them. defense right now to stop them from going for a mid push. Rotom knocked down. Fem chasing Maria on half a heart. Mid control. Aquatra with the bow here. Hanging in an above position. Aquatra maybe being a distraction here. Tor, we know Tor is hungry for kills right now. Tor gets one. Tor goes down. J Sharp's low. And JoJo okay, finishes. That was, honestly, Street Sharks kind of threw that. They got both the Harming Pots. They beat them to the bridge. They just lost in the 4v4. You, the, like, you can get to the bridge really, really quickly if you you have to maneuver your character really interestingly. You have to, like, hit a quick corner and then pop your speed spark. Uh, me watching Mass Marvelous film. <laughs> but, like, like, and um, Fem kind of played it safe there. Um, like, they, they all stayed in, like, the middle where they wouldn't get pre-fired, and then they popped the speed spark, but they, they got beat to the pot. And I feel like Street Sharks, if they can, if they can lock in, that can be a major, major advantage there, getting that pot and getting mid-control to get the second pot. Yeah, I definitely thought Street Sharks had that round as soon as I saw them beat here, but... Um, Femme Fatalis was just landing some shots. Aquatra, especially against Oslam, I just, I did not think she had a chance to win that fight. She was low. She had the crossbow with no melee. Oslam was in the melee range, and Aquatra still was able to. Now look at this. Femme going for a little bit different of a split here. Never mind. They're circling back. And if you're Street Sharks, though, if you're Street Sharks, you probably... distract, and Marie gets just... Street Sharks aren't going for any mid push here, but now we see Aqua Drug gets sent up, just sneaking by. Gets a levy spot spot on someone. Now it's Apple and gets knocked down. Aqua Drug just gonna Apple get on pushed on. With a heal. Tor gets it, and Tor's feeding for kills right now. Tor wants these kills. They're gonna. He they want Tor. They're gonna let Tor get these kills. Never mind. Those thing grabs it. Oh, I thought they were gonna let Tor get it. Tor is gonna be up to 15 now, I believe. Yeah, 15 kills so far for the game. For Tor Mood, it is 1-1. One, one. Oh, yeah. Set up. What, what's what's Mass Marvelous' record in a in a game? 20 or 21? Something like that. I have no idea. Tor Mood, second round pick. Coming in, wanting to challenge that. Up to w, 15. Up to 15 with three rounds to go. You know, I was kind of picking Rotom for Rookie of the Year. Tormood might... Kind of cracked. Yeah. No, first round pick. Wait, 12th overall? overall? Oh, was it? Oh, right, because of the... Oh, right, yes, because the the sh Cooking with Grease trade. Right, yeah. Okay, so he is a first round pick, but the second pick for them... Why would you trade a first round pick? Um, who did they, who did they get? They got Aquatra. Cooking okay. with Grease. They traded a first for Aquatra and like a second and a future second. So, Cooking with Grease without their second in this next year's draft. So, Shree Sharks has an extra pick to work with. More trade value as well. Yeah, Rotom low. Rotom oh, low again. Eight. Look at this. A position and shot by split. JoJo. Rotom got low. Had kind With of... the mid push, Fem is now pushing up. Marie getting tagged, but getting the heal. Street Sharks pushing up. It's now just going to be a mosh pit over here in mid. 
Apple just not Lane floating. With Tormood with one. Tormood in a 1v3 clutch now. Low. Marie finishes. Tormood up to 16 fight. kills. But Fem have the lead right now. 2-1. to one. That was very well played to play passive there. I like that decision. You've been playing aggressive literally the entire game. Switch it up and play passive. I don't think Street Sharks were really expecting it. Um, Rotom falling very quickly, and then you just have you have the map to yourself if you're in the 4v3. So you, you get that mid control, and you just spiral and win. Yeah, Trapdoor, I will. I did not realize we actually had a lot of people in here for today's game day, so thank you everyone for stopping by. Uh, Quark, thanks for the follow, and Ankiz, and Malvath. Real. Everyone for the followers my today. Go. I know we don't have follow alerts on, on the channel, but we appreciate everyone. Pally? Uh, Palisade. We should have the most... Palisade is like B-League, alert. though. This is IBL record. Mass has the record in IBL in Season 1 with like 20-some, so... 21, I think. I don't know. I forget. It was definitely up to 20, though, but... All right, well, you know, Street Sharks kind of have more important things to think about, I think. Um, they have to think about they gotta, locking They got to get this next round. Fem, match point. Going for the 4-4 split once more. And Orb going on the other side, hitting Tor for four hearts. Tor hit. And Oslane also hit. Oslane, or that was Street Sharks hitting. grabbing the pot here. Fem's looking Fem to push very, up. very healthy. We're looking for some snipes over here on the tree. Tried using an aggressive levy orb there to try and get the tree peeker up floating so you can get a shot off, but it didn't connect. And look at the invis bush here. The cobble ball goes down. They're going for a fill. But Fem's here to contest. Two Shree Sharks players knocked off. Oh, Fem get mid control. It's J Sharps. Goes down. Fem fill. And Fem clutch it. Time to take the round win and the game today. That was a good game. A very good game for both teams. You know, Street Sharks, I, I liked how they are going for that mid push there. Fem was just able to push right by. Fem grabbed the win today. Three to one on map three.